Hello there and welcome back to Old World. In this video I'm going to be attempting to uh, grab the last city. I think I've got one city spot left that I need to get. I can't remember where it is now. Is it the one to the south or did I already get them all? I think I already got them all actually. So what I will be trying to do is get rid of these uh, barbarians that are attacking from over here. And uh, they've probably got a site there which we'll need to try and clear out. At the end of the last video I ended the... T uh, I would literally come to the end of the turn so i'm just going to end the turn there and uh, yeah we'll be dealing with these units first now that i've got a warrior up front we should be a little bit uh, more hardy and then what i want to try and do is um start building up an army and moving my units to the correct cities so we can get the benefits of discontent reduction from walls because at the moment we don't uh, Carthage has a truce with the Gauls. One of our oligarchs has died. Uh, the head of the Julius family. Surely we should be the head of the Julius family. Won't we the Julius family? Uh, one of our generals has died in the field. Okay, not so great. We've just got a free camel archer. Let's go for husbandry because it is one year. And uh, yeah, we probably want to do some stuff with our workers. We could build a hamlet over here. I mean, that would give us some nice extra gold. There's nothing else here that we're in desperate need of. Although the camp could be useful for the food. Let's get the camp first. Or I also need to make sure that I start placing my uh, melee units onto barracks. Because that way they'll start gaining XP even if they are standing still. Uh, I need to move this guy out because he's taking a bit of a bashing. And then let's go and move in with the War Elephant. Let's take you out with the ranged unit. And the War Elephant should do significant damage here. Oh, he's actually caused panic and made the unit back off. That's nice. Uh, we could just run in here and finish them off, actually. And there we go. We can see their camp. So we can clear that camp out. And we could potentially even take that for our own as another city. Uh, so we'll have a look at doing that. I do have a few free workers, so I don't want to use all of my orders right now. Suggesting a quarry here. We're not too bad on stone. If we've got a problem, really, it's with the mining. Uh, we can get a mine here, which will give us 16 ore and two training. So that's definitely the way to go. Um, it also wants us to build a garrison here. Do we already have a garrison here? Uh, no, we don't. It's a fairly new city. Let's get over here. Let's build that mine first. I am going to heal up any units that have taken uh, damage here. Just so we can. Uh, any unit that's not on cooldown anyway. Still got seven orders remaining. Uh, you have built the farm. Now, suggesting a hamlet here. Suggesting a garrison and a barracks. Also suggesting a grove. The grove is nice for the food. But 20 gold from the hamlet is also really nice. And it is a closer tile and it'll grab some more land for us. All good things. And we have another worker over here. We can get a mine. Again, not a terrible idea. It's giving us the suggestions of, of another lumber mill over here, which I do like the idea of. But let's go and get that mine because it's a nice close tile. Okay. Military units. I don't think I need to do anything with any more of these units right now. So we've got a free camel archer. Might be worth just keeping the camel archer down the front here in case we get attacked by anything. Uh, we have a unit over here that can be promoted. I have just used my last order. I can actually just buy an order and, and get the promotion here. Uh, we can give them combat one. It's not brilliant, but it's not terrible. Uh, oh, eagle eye is nice on a ranged unit. Let's give them that. Uh, we need to choose a production over here. Now, it might be worth grabbing a settler. It is going to be nine turns, which is pretty slow. But then we could grab this city over here. We are quite close to the edge of the map. So I don't think we'll have to do a huge amount to protect that city. So let's have a look. Uh, the court mourns. So, yes, we've lost our... Uh, it was one of our generals. But at least we gained some XP from that. How are we doing with the uh, with the families here? They, they all like us. Claudius is a little bit lower. Uh, but in general, not too bad. 
So the heads of the two of the main religions are actually over here in Carthage. And we're still just pagans. Okay. Let's end that year, because we're out of orders anyway. Uh, we are still leading by score, slightly. Am I building a wonder anywhere? I can't remember if I am. I did think I started another one, but I don't remember what or where. Uh, Persia is now in a truce with the Thracians. Judaism has established the Enlightenment theology. Assyria has begun construction of the pyramids. Uh, oh, we've, have we got another raid? Oh yeah, we already know about this one. There's husbandry done. Uh, Spoked wheel would allow us to get uh, Chancellor. Which would be useful. And we could also get Forum. Which gives us epics and exploration. I think we'll get... Yeah, it's recommending Spoked wheel anyway. So that's fine. So now we have our... Um, Disciple. So we can go and build some monasteries or cathedrals. Kind of like the ones that give us more science, to be honest. Can we go and build one in the uh, in the capital somewhere. Do we have a spare tile? That'd be well. We can go all the way down here. Oh, we still don't have monasticism yet. Keep forgetting that we don't have that. Uh, I guess we could just uh, continue to uh, spread Judaism. Uh, in that case, let's undo that move because it was a waste. So we have Judaism here. We have Judaism in Rome. Uh, but not uh, not down here. So let's just try and get it in all of our uh, cities where possible. So if I move you here, can you spread it here? You can actually spread to uh, Augusta Trevorium. So let's get it there. We, that consumes the unit. We'll need to get another one over here as well, but that's fine. Uh, bargaining chips. Your vassals, the Fabius family, know well that you have access to luxuries they do not. And that what they see is their share. They are willing to make trade. So what can we give them? Send them dice and make someone a courtier. How long do we have on that ambition, by the way? Six years to get two more courtiers. It's unlikely. So we either take XP or we get a courtier. Um, let's get a court merchant. New court merchant. There we go. So, plus two charisma, plus, plus two discipline. Do we have, in all of our cities, governors? Don't have a stronghold or citadel here. Uh, the worker here has just been completed. So let's go and start upgrading some things. Starting with a farm over here is probably a good idea. Uh, that's the last of our available workers. Let's move in here with some units. Take a ranged shot. Good old smack with the war elephant. Did it cause panic? It did not. Can't get rid of them on this turn, but certainly do some significant damage. Heal up any other units that are low on health. No more workers to move. We could potentially try and influence somebody. have a look at our let's actually have a look at the um succession at the moment yeah we do still have two children so that is fine nobody here really needs to do anything so what are you from you're from the landowners so you're in the wrong place. So let's move you down 
You are really in the wrong place. Let's start moving you down here. Oh, you're on cooldown because I healed you. That's right. I, I missed that one. Okay, not a problem. We're going to clear those guys out. I'll prob yeah, we are, we've got the settler coming. That's fine. Camel Archer, I think, is just going to sit here on um, sentry duty. So, we could spend to promote you, but I don't think we need to... I think just having some units around is not a bad idea. We can do a little bit of exploration into the fog of war. There you go. Got some legitimacy for that, so it was worthwhile. Oh, that's right. I was going to bring you home, was I not? Uh, I don't recall why, but I was bringing you home for some reason. Um, <clears throat> I'm at, uh, well, I do still have some orders left, so I can bring you over here. It was actually a few days ago now, and I've forgotten the reason I was going to bring him back, but uh, I was going to, I was doing it for a reason. Uh, let's go and have a look at where we need to do some uh, building. So that's where we got our disciple. So we could go ahead and uh, get a fisher, which could be quite good for us. Um, still developing. There's a bit of discontent here. I mean, I like the idea of getting a fisher because that will give us uh, another specialist, which will give us more science. So it's worth doing. And... Um, this uh, city as well, which is also one of our newer ones. You've just completed the worker. I mean, walls aren't a terrible idea. You do have one of your own units in there. So, yeah. Let's go work on walls for you. That way we're using some civics instead. Yes, I know about the tutorial. And, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll end the year. So I'm not too sure right now about going to war with another AI. I would like to try and build things up a little bit first. I don't have a huge amount of orders. So going to war could put me at a real disadvantage. Uh, another oligarch has died. So the different head of the Claudius family now. Uh, another warrior has died in the field of battle, and someone else has converted to Roman paganism. The keystone. The buildings of your cities are visible for miles around. Wondrous constructions that uh, tourists travel to the world to see. The legend of buildings of Rome has also led to a new name for you. Lucilla the Keystone. A meeting with your leading architects raises the question of what statues you want displayed on the latest monuments. There is always more to achieve. Will you announce a new ambition to those assembled? See the pyramids in the back there. It's actually a Syria building, those. Uh, our cities shall shine like jewels. Starts the ambition to control three legendary cities. I only accept the very best to work in my land. Starts the ambition to, convert, to control five elder specialists. Or we can get plus two legitimacy. Um, five elder specialists could be done. I don't, it's take a while to get to legendary cities, but... Let's, let's pick that one. We should get there. I mean, Rome's probably on its way by now anyway. Uh, enacting volunteers isn't going to happen anytime soon, so we're a little bit stuck. Anyway, we've got some free workers, so let's go ahead and make use of those right now. Yes, pasture is good. Gives us orders. So we'll work on the pasture. Another worker. You could go here and get the barracks. Not a bad idea. Then we can get a, uh, a governor in there. Because we need to get eight governors. We don't have eight governors at the moment. Well, you do have a governor in there. I know I've got some cities that do not have governors in. Where are we? You do not have a governor. Uh, we don't have the garrison stronghold or citadel, so we need to sort that out. You don't have a governor either. And you don't have a governor. Oh, you can get a governor, though, which is good. We, I don't really want one that causes discontent, but they all cause a little bit of discontent. Might as well get one that gives me some extra science, though. Uh, what city is this? Who does it belong to? Belongs to the landowners. 
I should be able to give it to one of you. You'll give me less discontent, but you'll also give me less science as well. Okay, this one for now. So that's five governors. And we have got some more cities to come. So we should be able to complete that ambition uh, reasonably soon. And we have one more worker. Not a great deal for you to do. You are in the correct city. I guess a quarry is perfectly fine. There will be a minor adjacency bonus there. And then I will probably want to... Start moving some of my own workers back to Rome. Now, I've got a work coming up here. So this is going to take a little while. I guess you can do a little bit of exploration in this direction. So we can see the Gauls. Can we harvest any of these? Oh, barbarians. That's not good. Harvest the gold, though. Uh, okay, that's fine. Do you have another one? Yeah, you're the one that I wanted to bring home. Was I just bringing you home to heal you? I don't even recall now. And, uh, oh yeah, I need to finish these guys off, don't I? I'd almost forgotten about that. Not a problem. War elephants will do that one. Uh, Cumbling Prison stands in the Midian Settlement. Scores of soldiers and citizens from Rome have been languishing here for years, most believed dead by their loved ones. Their release calls for celebration. So, plus two citizens in one of our cities, or plus one discontent level and gain a warrior. We'll, um, take the, the better option. Uh... Yeah, we will want to be grabbing this. Don't think there are going to be any more units around. I used to pull my orders now, so we'll do some healing up on the next turn. Yep, I'm just going to go through all of these units right now. Uh, we do need a production here, though. Uh, we have completed the walls. We could get a specialist. Specialist on the gold would be good for us. And we need a production over here. So you have just completed a warrior. So you already have a worker. Uh, we could get a farmer. I mean, it will grab us an extra tile. But it's not that useful. Let's get a farmer. And uh, another city. You have completed the trapper. We could go and get a specialist gardener over here. But I think it's not a bad time to, th to get some more units. Let's get a war elephant. Going to be a slow one at 10 years, but I think it will uh, certainly help us. Especially if Assyria decide to declare war on us. So we're almost a third of the way through the number of victory points needed. Just over a quarter of the way through the maximum turn time of the game. But it's really the ambitions that we should be aiming for. Really thought that barbarian was going to attack. Though there are some heading towards me via the water, uh, which is up here. So that could be a little bit tricky. Um, I don't have many units up here that can defend. I do have a warrior. So let's go and get you up here as much as you can be. We'll heal up with some of these other units. I think we can come back with this slinger now. Possibly even come back with you. You can't get in there. No, you're picky. You can't get in there on this turn. Uh, I have a little look out here with the war elephant. I'd just like to uh, uncover a bit of land. This is the edge of the map. This is a peninsula. So if I grab this, we'll be reasonably safe from anybody else coming in and, and doing anything to that city. Uh, we do have a free worker. Uh, you are in the wrong city. You're actually one of Rome's workers. How are we doing in terms of um, cities connected to the trade network? I think there's one or two that aren't. You're not connected. And you are not yet connected. So I could take that worker all the way down there. It's a long way for them to travel, and I do have closer workers, so that's really a waste of orders. So let's leave him be. Again, it's suggesting another quarry here. 
The game really does love telling you to, to build quarries. I might be better off moving here and helping. Can we not go through the water there? No, deep water. I'd have to go all the way around the mountain, so that's not very useful. Okay, I guess we just keep building here then. It's recommending a quarry. I'm not convinced that that's the way to go. I can get a hamlet. So, let's go and work on that. I'll be skipping through a few units. You were... Uh, I was using you as a little bit of a scout. Some uh, units coming towards me here from Assyria. I'm not sure what, if anything, is planning to do with those, but... Does appear to have quite a few units heading my way. So there is a potential here of uh, something happening. Uh, how do I see how much you like me? Yeah, you don't particularly like me. We could try and... Could we give them a luxury? I oh, know, we're already sending them pearls. Could send them some goods. Let's, let's try and influence her. Just to try and make them friendly. I just I just don't like how many units. They've got a couple heading this way. There's a few units up and around here. That's why I was sending that scout up there now, I recall. Um, so, yes. Need to be a little bit mindful about what's going on there. Actually surprised you didn't get attacked by that barbarian. So, let's go up there and harvest the gems. We'll end the year. We'll see if we can get one more turn out of this. Is that barbarians or is it Persia? No, it's, yeah, it's raiders, it's barbarians. Although with it being raiders, they're probably specifically attacking um, Carthage down here. Yeah, you've made landfall, which I expected. Uh, I don't really need the food boost. We've got plenty of food. I'm happy to let that uh, disappear. Navigation would give us... Um, surf them increase our farms and pastures outputs by 20% which is much better than 200 food boost anyway rhetoric will give us forum and a new law to enact so yeah let's go for that one uh, our husband is governor of uh, Augusta Trevorium and a court minister upgrade to deal maker as governor unlocks caravan as leader plus 20 foreign tribal opinions upgrade to carpenter I don't think we need the extra money. Let's make him a deal maker. Now then, you've just broken something there, which I'm not entirely happy about. So let's move around with some units so we can take these guys out. We all need to go and fix that. So let's start moving up with this worker. This this worker is the proper worker that is supposed to be in this city, so that's fine. What other workers do we have? We have a free worker here. I might get this early garrison. Because if we can get a garrison uh, early, we can we can get a governor in here. And I think that's going to be uh, good for us. Lots of our workers currently idle. Again, unit right on my borders. What are you doing? Let's get the nets here. Another free worker here. There's some interesting tiles. Also on the edge of the map. Uh, a camp here is probably not a bad idea. Right, let's get over there with you for that event. Amid the ruins, our explorers discover an ancient burial site, brimming with a trove of valuables. Before anything can be done, however, an uh, imperious young man at the head of the own expedition intrudes. These riches, along with all these lands, fall under the domain of Persia. No, they really don't. Uh, capture the noble. Uh, Persia held a noble hostage, plus 20 opinion for 40 years. Plus 750 gold. Uh, our offer apologies and promises of friendship. Opin uh, Persia's opinion goes up. Um, 
We gain diplomat instead of scholar. I don't really want that to reveal the territory of Persia. I'll just take the uh, free gold. Thank you very much. That'll be perfectly, uh, perfectly adequate. Uh, not much to do over here. Lots of fish. That'd be a good, good tile to get. Let's move you in and give you a heal. Most of our units now are healed up, if not all of them. Do still have some workers remaining. Uh, you I'm leaving because I want you to repair that on the next turn. We also need a garrison here, so let's build that. Now, we could get mines here. We could get a pasture here. How are we doing on uh, metal uh, iron? Not too bad. I mean, the growth, the growth is worthwhile having. But the culture and the money is worth more right now. So let's go and do that. And then we've got a couple of orders left. Two workers. We might have to buy another order depending on how far we move and what we want to do. Suggestion of a lumber mill. Lots of camps here in the lumber mill. Um, we could probably get a hamlet. No. No hamlet. We, do we have any farms here? Again, there's suggestions of a mine. Now, are you connected to the trade network? You, Yes, you are. As are you. Uh, let's go up here and get the pasture. And that's used all of my orders, but I do still have a free worker. So we've got the mine here now. Might be worth uh, spending the orders. Moving here and just getting ourselves another fort. Just because we're very much on the front lines here and I don't like it. Need to choose a production over here. I think getting a warrior is probably ideal. And then we could get another specialist here. Or we could get another unit. A camel archer could be good. Lots of units moving towards me. We could get the Gardener. Again, it'd be more science. We're up to 80 science per year now, which is quite nice. But I think for now we will get another Camel Archer. We've got, we've got the food to spare by a long shot. And we've got the Lumber to spare. So let us do that one. We've got a trade offer here from Assyria. We'll trade iron for additional training. So they get gain opinion of us, which is great. Uh, minus 30 iron. That's a lot of iron to give away. I mean, that's half of what I make. We will trade wood for orders. I make even less wood. Uh, 26 out of 38. For one order. You know what? We can easily get some more lumber mills, so that's fine. If you have researched this boat wheel technology, and you have an available candidate on your court with Zillet, Judge, or the Builder archetype, then you may appoint a Chancellor using the glowing pen icon in the top right of the screen. So I can appoint you as a Chancellor. Yep, yeah, fine. So we have a Chancellor now. So that is all that I can do on this turn. We've only got three years left to enact these two ambitions, so these ones are definitely going to fall through. The eight governors we should be able to do. Uh, control three legacy cities. I mean, that might take a while. Rome. Where's Rome? So Rome's our oldest city. Culture is still only strong. Uh, it's going to take 73 years for it to go up to the next level. So it's a little bit tricky. Uh, but we will get more... Um, we will get more ambitions offered to us via events. I'm just having a look around at my workers because I thought I was working on another wonder somewhere, but I can't see that now. Uh, you have healed up. Yeah, so everything's looking good. We just need to deal with this guy here. I don't even know where he came from. There's, oh, there's a landmass over here, so that must be where he came from. So, you know, we can still get attacked over here. It's not going to be a massive attack. Um, and it's not the greatest spot, but there's quite a lot of uh, forest here, so 
We could definitely get some lumber just from that city alone. And uh, yeah, I need to have a little bit of an explore out around these tiles and see what's going on there. But I think that is a good place to stop. Stop. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. I do still appreciate those of you that are carrying on with this series. Remember, if you do have any questions uh, or any suggestions, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to uh, acknowledge them. Uh, if I learn anything new, I'll demonstrate it in a video. Uh, if you want to know the answers to anything, I, I will try my best to give the answer. Uh, if I don't know it off the top of my head, I'll go and have a look and, and work out how to do it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. So until then, goodbye for now.